Hello and welcome to a tutorial about sequences today. We're going to focus today on the nth term. That is a formula for a sequence, okay? And the, the beauty of it is that it allows us to find any term of the sequence if we know the formula, okay? So, um, so for example, let's take a sequence. Let's take 4, um, 10, 16, 22, 28. Now that's a linear sequence because it has a constant difference and hopefully you've spotted what it is. It's plus six. Okay, so if you want to go from one term to the next, we have to add six. And so we now need to think about what times table that it's similar to then in that respect. And it has to be similar to the six times table, which is six, 12, 18, 24, 30, because that also goes up in sixes, okay? And its formula, its nth term is 6n, because compared to the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what we do to those numbers is we times by 6 to get the 6 times table, okay? So the nth term of this is 6n. Now this is the 6 times table as well, except that it's been pulled back by a certain number. And what is it? What's, the, what's that number? So how do we go from 6 to 4? How do we go from 12 to 10? How do we go from 18 to 16? How do we go from 24 to 22? How do we go from 30 to 28? We've subtracted two. Yeah. Okay, so we've subtracted two in each case. So the nth term is 6n subtract two. And this is, the, this is actually the notation, t brackets n is the notation for the nth term, the formula for the sequence. So in this case, it's 6n minus two. Now we could go and test it out. Let's go and have a look at the fifth term, term five. Let's go and test that that is the case. So it's six times five subtract two, which is 30 subtract two, which is 28. So let's go check it. There it is, 28, the fifth term. Okay. And as we said, the beauty of it is we can go and find any term of the sequence. So I could go and find the 50th term if I wanted to. And um, 6 times 50 minus 2, well, that's 300 minus 2, uh, which is 298. Uh, I could go and find the 20th term of the sequence, 6 times 20 minus 2, which is 120 minus 2, or 118. Okay, all right, let's go and try another one. So how about this one now? Um, we could have... Uh, let's start with 15, and we're going to go uh, 22, uh, 29, uh, 36, and 43. It keeps going like that. Have you spotted the common difference yet? What's the term to term rule? What is it going up in? What type of times table are we looking at here? It's a plus 7, isn't it? It's adding 7 each time. Okay, so what we've got here in front of us is a version of the 7 times table. 7, 14, 21. 28, 35, except this isn't the seven times tables we know it, is it? What's happened to it? What have we done to the seven times table to get to our sequence? We've adjusted it slightly, haven't we? And we've added on eight, okay? And that, that works across there. So the nth term is seven n plus eight. Let's check it, two n, seven n plus eight. So let's go and put in a value in the third term. Okay, 7 times 3, add 8, so that's 21 add 8, which is 29. Okay, which I can see right there. Um, I could go and have a look at the 30th term. 7 times 30 add 8, so that's 210 add 8, which is 218. Okay, you can see how dead quick and easy it is now to find any term of the sequence without having to count up. Okay, one more. Um, it doesn't always have to be an ascending sequence. It could also be a descending sequence. So we could have something like this, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, and so on. Okay, um, what's happening in this case? Now, before it was adding, now we're subtracting five each time. Okay, now in the last couple of examples, it was, it was first of all, uh, 6n, then it was 7n, and now I've got minus 5. So it holds that we just follow the same process and just look at the minus 5, but minus 5n. Now, if n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 5n 
is just times in those five numbers by minus five. So one times minus five, minus five, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20, minus 25. It's just the five times table with a negative in front of it. Okay, now we've got to think about how we go from minus five to 30. How do we go from minus 10 to 25? And so on and so forth. What do, what do we have to add on here? Okay, now if I want to look at a negative number line, there's minus five and there's 30. It's not to scale, obviously. Um, and there's zero. So let's think about what we have to add on. Go from minus five to zero, we add on five. And to go from zero to 30, we add on another 30. So altogether, we're adding on 35. Okay, so our nth term here is going to be minus 5n plus 35. And let's just write it here so we can start to play around with it. So there's my nth term. Okay, I can go and look at the tenth term. Okay, minus 5 times 10 add 35, well that's minus 50 of 35, um, which is minus 15, yeah, or I could go and have a look at, I've got more space, I'll put it in a different colour, um, I don't know, um, mm, yeah, 20, the 20th term, okay, minus 5 times 20, add 35, that's minus 100, add 35, which is equal to uh, minus 65. Yeah. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. I hope that's nice and clear. And good luck.